In this video, we're going to focus on calculating the energy stored in a capacitor. So how much energy can be stored if 10 volts is applied to a 5 farad capacitor? So let's talk about what values that we have. So we have the capacitance, which is equal to C, and that's 5 farads. And we also have the voltage, which is 10 volts. What formula do we need to calculate the potential energy stored in this capacitor? The formula that we need is this one. It's 1 half CV squared. So it's going to be 1 half multiplied by the capacitor, which is the capacitance is 5 farads, and the voltage is 10 volts. Half of 5 is 2.5, and 10 squared is 100. So this is going to be 250 joules of potential energy. Now, if this energy can be released in 0.01 seconds, what is the power exerted by the capacitor during this time? So how can we calculate the power? Power is the rate at which energy is transferred. It's work divided by time. The work that's required to charge up this capacitor to 10 volts is 250 joules. Now let's replace W with 250 joules. And the time is 0 0.01 seconds. Now one joule per second is a watt. So if we take 250 and divide it by 0 0.01, that's equal to 25,000 watts, which is a very big number. And so even though a capacitor may store a small amount of energy, it can store and deliver that energy in a very short period of time. And so the power output of a capacitor can be huge, even though it doesn't last very long. So a capacitor is very quick in storing and delivering energy, which is useful, but it doesn't store that much energy unless you have a very, very big capacitor. And so that's it for this problem. Now let's move on to number two. It takes 20 volts to store 80 columns of charge on a certain capacitor. How much potential energy is stored in this capacitor? So we have the voltage, which is 20 volts, and the charge is 80 coulombs. So how can we calculate the potential energy with Q and V? The potential energy is 1 half QV. So it's 1 half times the charge, which is 80 coulombs, and the unit for a volt, one volt is one joule per coulomb. So volt, which is electric potential, is the ratio between the electric potential energy per unit charge. So 20 volts is basically 20 joules per coulomb. And so we can see how the unit coulombs will cancel, giving us the unit joules. So half of 80 is 40, and 40 times 20 is 800. So there's 800 joules of potential energy stored in this capacitor. Now let's calculate the capacitance of this capacitor. The capacitance is the ratio between the charge stored divided by the voltage. So we have 80 coulombs of charge divided by 20 volts. And so it's 4 coulombs per volt, which is 4 farads. And so that's it for our part B. Number three, how much energy is stored if 500 coulombs of charge rests on a 10 farad capacitor? And what is the voltage across this capacitor? So in this problem, we have the charge, which is Q, that's 500 coulombs. And the capacitance is 10 farads. So we can use this formula. The potential energy is going to be 1 half times Q squared divided by C. So it's 1 half of 500 squared divided by 10. 500 squared is 250,000. If we divide that by 10, that's 25,000. And then divide that by 2, this is going to be 12,500 joules. So that's the potential energy stored in this capacitor. Now what is the voltage across this capacitor. Well, we know that Q is equal to CV. 
So we have 500 coulombs of charge. Now let's see if we can understand this conceptually. A 10 farad capacitor means that it can hold 10 coulombs of charge per 1 volt. Now if we increase the voltage to 10 volts, it can hold 100 coulombs of charge. The ratio between charge and voltage will always be 10. And if we increase to 50 volts, it can store 500 coulombs of charge. And so C in this problem is 10, and we got to solve for V. So we need to divide both sides by 10. So the voltage is 500 coulombs divided by 10 farads, which will be 50 volts. And so sometimes you can see it conceptually, if you understand what a farad is. So a capacitor with one farad can store one coulomb of charge per one volt. A 10 farad capacitor can store 10 coulombs of charge per one volt. A 200 farad capacitor can store 200 coulombs of charge per one volt. So hopefully that makes sense. Number four, a certain capacitor has 25 joules of stored potential energy when connected across a 10 volt battery. How much energy can the capacitor store when connected across a 20 volt battery? Now we know that the potential energy is one half CV squared. Now the capacitance of the capacitor will not change. So if we're dealing with the same capacitor, C is constant. So we could say that the potential energy is proportional to V squared. Now even though U is also equal to 1 half QV, when you adjust the voltage, it affects the charge on the capacitor. So that's not constant. We can't use this formula to describe it. So now that we know that U, the potential energy, is proportional to the square of the voltage, what happens if we double the voltage? Well, 2 squared is 4. So the potential energy should increase by a factor of 4. So it was 25 joules. If we multiply that by 4, it should now increase to 100 joules. So now let's see if we can get this answer another way. Let's write a ratio between U2 and U1. So U1 is going to be 1 half CV1 squared. U2 is 1 half CV2 squared. V changes, so that's why I have a subscript for that, but C doesn't change. So we could say that U2 divided by U1 is equal to V2 squared over V1 squared. So the first potential energy is 25 joules, when there's a voltage of 10 volts connected across it. So what is the potential energy if we increase the voltage to 20? 20 squared is 400, 10 squared is 100. And so if we cross multiply, this is going to be 25 times 400, which is 10,000. And this is going to equal 100 times U2. So now we got to divide both sides by 100. 10,000 divided by 100 is 100. And so that's another way in which you can calculate the potential energy of a capacitor if you change the voltage across it. Now let's work on our last problem. How much energy is stored in a 150 microfarad capacitor if a 12 volt battery is connected across it? Now most capacitors don't have a rating of 1 farad or 10 farads. That's pretty high for a standard capacitor. In a typical electric circuit, most capacitors are in the microfarad range or in the nanofarad range. It's rare to come across those in the millifarad range, even though you might see it sometimes. So how much energy is stored in this particular capacitor? So we can use this familiar equation, 1 half CV squared. So the capacitance is 150 microfarads, or 150 times 10 to minus 6 farads, and the voltage is 12 volts. So you just got to plug that in. And so the amount of potential energy stored in this capacitor is pretty small. It's 0 0.0108 joules. Now how much charge is stored in this capacitor? Electric charge is equal to C times V. It's the capacitance, which is 150 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, multiplied by the voltage, 
of 12 volts. So this too is a small number. It's 0 0.0018 coulombs. And so most capacitors that are of a standard size usually fall around this range.